Ladies and gentlemen, I, I was walking around and I was noticing some big um, mistakes that students were making and I really want you guys to understand something. All right, first of all, there's a couple points. We have a polynomial divided by another monomial. Notice how there's no addition or subtraction inside this, right? It's a monomial, all right? It has a couple terms, but there's not separated by addition or subtraction, right? It's just a term with a couple terms multiplied by each other. This is what we call a monomial. Whenever you have a monomial, all right, we're going to go through, we're going to, you need to make sure you divide that term into every single one of these other terms. Now, remember, anything raised to a negative exponent, we can easily write that in the denominator as a positive exponent, right? Yeah, so you don't need to write that, correct. All right. Does everybody see what I did? When, you have to, when you're multiplying by something to the negative exponent, you can rewrite it now in your denominator. Now, going back to that, remember the fraction 3 fourths? I broke up into 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 4. Then I broke that up into 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. This monomial divides into each one of those terms. So I'm going to rewrite that all separately. So I'm going to write 4f to the fifth divided by 4f squared minus 6f to the fourth divided by 4f squared plus 12f cubed divided by 4f squared minus 8f squared divided by 4f squared. Just, it is. Anybody have any questions on what I did? The only reason why I did this is because this is a monomial. Yes, Anna? Well, yeah, well, it's the minus 8, so yeah, you're just going to leave with that. Now, we practice the rules of exponents, right? So now we just need to apply those rules. 4 divided by 4 is 1. f to the fifth minus f squared is f to the 5 minus 2, right? Minus 6 divided by 4 reduces to 3 halves. Wouldn't it be negative 6 divided by 4? Or no, you can just leave that 6 divided by 4. Please. Right, but we can reduce that, right? Okay, so I reduced it to 3 halves, f to the 4 minus 2. I'm doing this kind of in a step-by-step -step procedure. 12 divided by 4, positive 12 divided by 4 is 3, f to the 3 minus 2. Then the last one, negative 8 divided by 4, reduces down to a negative 2, f 2 minus 2. Okay, Chris, you got this? All right, so now, yes? Does everybody see what I did? I just did the law of exponents for each one. Then 1 times f is just going to be f. f to the 5 minus 2 is 5, or is f to the third, minus 3 halves f squared plus 3 times f to the 3 minus 2 is 1, which again, we don't need to write that. And then minus 2 times f to the 0. But we know that f to the 0 is just what? 1. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that is your final answer. Where would you get f minus 2? 2 minus 2 is 0. 2 and 2? Two? So 2 minus 2 is 0. zero. Right. So f to the 0 power equals 1. Anything to your 0 power is going to go on. Because this is 3 minus 2, which is f to the first power which we don't need to write to the first power. We can just write f. So it's 3 times f, and then negative 2 times 1 is just going to be negative 2. What about the 3 minus 2? 3 minus 2. Oh, go up. Here? Yeah. yeah, 3 minus 2 is 1. I wrote a 1 there. Okay. But three, f to the first power is the same as f. OK? Now, for this problem, 